Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, March the 11th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A first for race eight on the card, 3:46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Brian GS Stakes, a mile test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Four-year-olds and up race for a stakes prize of some. $75,000. Contenders number five, linebacker. Number one, seniors pride. Number three, I want revenge. And number two, spa city fever. Let's go with a big time shot on top here in the Sunday feature, folks. Number five, linebacker has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Charles Lopez has been in his irons on one previous occasion, posting a win en route to a positive 310% return on investment in the process. Lopez is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number one senior's pride comes off a power run win in his last start, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five outings overall. Race 8 summary, number 5, linebacker, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 1, Seniors Pride, number 3, I Want Revenge, and number 2, Spa City Fever, 5132 in the 8th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Brian GS Stakes. Go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park next for their feature, race 7, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Palm Beach Stakes, nine furlong route test on the turf, grade three, three-year-olds race for $150,000. Contenders, number one, How Great, number five, Colport, number three, Dullahan, and number six, Sisaba. Number one, How Great, cheers the overall speed leader in the stakes field today, racing at nine furlongs on the turf with number five, Colport, has hit the board in each of his four career starts to date, winning three times, including a power run win his last time out. Jockey Johnny Velasquez has been in his irons on one previous occasion, posting a win en route to a positive 520% return on investment in the process. Johnny V is back today for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number five, Colport, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is the pace profile leader, comes off power run performances in each of his last three starts. Race seven summary, number one, how great, tops the contenders list in this stakes feature today, which also includes number five, Colport, number three, Dullahan, and number six, C. Saba, one, five, three, six. In the seventh from Gulfstream, the $150,000 grade three, Palm Beach Stakes. Bonus long shot, Sam Houston Race Park, race three, number five, Give Me a Life, eight to one on the morning line, qualifies as the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a seven level class drop as the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of five and one half furlongs on the dirt. Turf Paradise, race six, entry number two, Brandy Cocktail, four to one on the morning line, takes a huge class drop, 31 track master units, folks. Nice overall speed for the six and a half for a long sprint. So handicapping stake races from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Sunday. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.